I'm Mary David with ID8 TV, and joining me is Angie Miller, fitness expert, educator, and trainer. How are you doing today? I am doing well, thank you. Great. I thought it was so powerful, this session that you had on emotional well-being. Okay. Is this something that you have seen uh, an issue in the fitness world? Oh, I absolutely think so. I think that in the fitness community, we are so used to emptying our bucket and giving everything we have to everyone else that we forget to take care of ourselves. It's kind of hard to give from an empty pot. So, Absolutely. For people who may be aware of the importance of emotional well-being but have people in their lives who mm -hmm. don't take as much care, what advice do you have for them? So people who are well, well aware of their own stuff, but they're surrounded by people who maybe aren't taking good heed of their wellness. Yes. I think it's starting with small tips, just offering themselves as um, uh, offering themselves as a person to lean on or to get advice from, offering themselves as a, a person they can talk to or communicate with about their struggles, and then just letting them know that you're behind them on their journey, meeting them where they're at. We can't make people change. Mm. That is so true and so important to keep in mind. How did you get started going into this issue? Um, I taught stress management at a university level for five years and I used to be in uh, mental health. I was a school counselor and then I went back and got licensed as a clinical counselor and started practicing. And so teaching stress management to college students was what really inspired me to um, go back into mental health and blend that with fitness and wellness. Tell me about the blending of yoga and the concepts that you talked about today as far as emotional well-being. Well, you know, it's interesting when I went and I taught stress management and at the university and then I went back to uh, get licensed in mental health and to practice as a therapist, I also went back and got my 200 hours in yoga because I felt like the mind-body connection, so doing the physical uh, release, you know, fitness and wellness, I teach group fitness classes, and then also having the uh, mental health and then having yoga, which is very mindfulness-based and very mind-body, it has really been kind of a beautiful um, culmination of of education and skills that have come together. I'm curious what your thoughts are as far as how social media has progressed and increased anxiety. What effect you're seeing that's having on people and how management of emotions are determined by that? Mm -hmm. That's an excellent question because I think social media is an anxiety driver for a lot of people, even people who aren't normally high responders. It's very hard to keep up with social media. You feel like, especially when you own a business or you do any type of work that you need to be on social media, but yet it feels so counterintuitive to what it is that you're promoting. Um, I think that everybody, young, old, all ages, is affected by social media, and sometimes for the better, sometimes not so good. Right. We have a lot of images out there of what fitness and wellness should look like, and I don't think that that's really the reality of what the world is experiencing and how we're going through this, our lives. Absolutely, the pressure is definitely on. What are some tips that you would suggest as far as managing that or boundary setting? Mm -hmm. Boundaries are an excellent word. That's a perfect way of putting it. I think that limiting your social media time, deciding what you want to get out of social media, why am I on there? Am I on there to look for fitness advice? Am I on there to connect with my friend community? What is my goal for being on social media? And then limiting the amount of time that you're actually interacting. And then last but not least, not comparing. Comparisons are a slippery slope. <laughs> Very true. Thank you so much for all that you shared with us today. Follow Angie Miller. Okay, so my Instagram is Angie Miller Fitness and Facebook and Twitter are Angie Miller Fit. My website's AngieMillerFitness.com. Check it out.